Hey guys, this is Manu Kalia, physical therapist and Ayurveda herbalist. So I'm going to show you another technique today to improve the mobility of the uh, uh, muscles in the anterior part of the forearm. So your finger and wrist flexors, right? If these muscles are tight because of excessive work with your hands, uh, computer work for various reasons. And if you're having just stiffness, pain, and sometimes even numbness and tingling because a lot of the soft tissue tightness that exists, um, this could be a good way to start improving that mobility of those tissues, okay? And it's an easy one to do. So all you need is a table, chair, anything that's stable, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my, now remember, the function of the flexors is bringing that wrist upwards, right? So I'm contracting a lot of these muscles and these tissues. So we wanna go in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna place my hand here, okay? My elbow's bent for slightly. Now, right away, as I drop my whole hand down, as I put a little bit of weight on it, I start to get some pulling in these tissues. Now, as I lock my elbow, I get even more pulling, even further up, right? So if I wanna stabilize my wrist, and then I can mm -hmm. gently sit back a little bit. Now, now I get a fair amount of pull in all of these tissues here, okay? So it works at improving that. And I can oscillate side to side, hunt around and look for tight tissues, okay? Be careful not to crank on that, not to drive that wrist too hard into the table or that mat or whatever it is, right? You don't wanna irritate those joints either as putting that wrist in excessive extension, okay? And for those of you who have a hard time bearing weight because maybe you have some joint issues, right? Joint capsular issues or some irritation, you're gonna cause pinching if you do that, okay? So you might need some other techniques first to improve the mobility of those joints, restore the movement before we start doing some soft tissue, uh, or sorry, uh, some um, flexibility techniques to improve the mobility of the soft tissue. All right, so just be careful when you do that. But otherwise, it's a good technique to improve the uh, mobility of the, the muscles, the tendons, and the soft tissue and the fascia. All right, uh, try it out, see what you think. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and make sure you check out the site, guys. There's lots of info. Thank you.